Hi, I'm Dr. Messina. Today we're going to be discussing laser tattoo removal in the African American patient. Patients of color, patients of a higher Fitzpatrick score, Fitzpatrick 4 and 5, tend to be host to complications that are relatively rare in the lighter skin tones such as 1s and 2s. The reason for that is lasers for tattoo removal seek out a pigment and shatter that pigment. They don't differentiate tattoo ink from natural melanin and that's where the problem lies. The absorption is greater in a darker skin tone than in a lighter skin tone. Of the complications, we worry about four of them and they're mostly pigmentary problems. Hyperpigmentation, a darkening of the skin, or hypopigmentation, a lightening of the skin. Of the two, hypopigmentation is more worrisome because it might not improve and it's more variable. For instance, it could be a slight lightening of the skin, just a shade or two lighter. Or it could completely destroy the melanocyte, completely wipe out the melanin, leaving a white patch that will in all likelihood never get any better. Hyperpigmentation, a darkening of the skin, tends to be less worrisome because in 95% of the cases it resolves in about a year. The other issues we worry about are scar formation and keloid formation. So how do we try to minimize the risks of these complications? Well one thing is we have to be mindful of the laser we're going to use and the settings we're going to use on that laser are critical. The laser that is the safest for any darker complected patient, and when I say that I mean Hispanic patients, Asian patients, Polynesian, African American, all very sensitive to the lasers would be the YAG laser. That 1064 wavelength is not well absorbed by the melanocyte or the melanin, therefore gentler on the skin and significantly reduce the risk of getting these complications although they do occur. The other lasers used for tattoo removal would be the Alexandrite which I use on greening and the Ruby which I use on bluing. Unfortunately both of those lasers would be contraindicated in an African-American patient, they're for certain going to cause some kind of a pigmentary issue. Now if a patient comes in with a green tattoo or a blue tattoo and they really want it off, I make them understand that we can get this pigmentary change and it might be permanent. The YAG laser will get off black ink and dark blue ink, it's not going to do much for the green ink, and if we frequency double it and make it a KTP, we could get red ink as well. So that YAG laser is going to cover a majority of the tattoos that you're going to come across. The other thing is the settings. The African Americans take at least a 50% reduction in the fluence or laser energy, and a doubling of the duration between treatments. A Fitzpatrick 1 or Fitzpatrick 2 very light skinned patient I could actually treat every six weeks. However African American patients I make them wait a minimum of eight weeks and sometimes 12 just to let things settle down. How do we avoid getting scar formation? That is a measure of the fluence again laser energy. We don't want to hit a point where we rupture the skin, the epidermis. If the epidermis ruptures and it starts bleeding, the odds of making a scar and a keloid are much higher. So that's, you have to be mindful of the amount of energy you're using as well as what type of laser you're using. So laser tattoo removal in the African American population can be safely done. You just have to be very cautious and be very mindful. Intuitively you might think the thicker dermis with better collagen and more collagen is more resistant to the laser. However, it's just the reverse. Have a good day. Remember to subscribe if you want more educational videos.